All the news that fits. Okay. Hi. Hi. Welcome back. It's good to see you. Good to see you too. It's nice to be back. I was helping my wife set up a Citizens Academy in St. Helena last Friday. You got you and Max did a great job, of course. And you're well and healthy and strong. Yes, so sir. it's nice to be back. All's good. Um, uh, let's start with a quiz. Okay. Okay. I love your quizzes. All right. Here we who go. said? Who said? The only thing worse than being talked about is not being talked about. I feel like it's got to be a celebrity. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, uh, well, I guess. Um, I don't know. I give. Oscar Wilde. Oh, the poet. okay. The Irish poet. Irish poet. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, yeah. Yeah. I just read the pine cone and I was just thinking about that this morning. You probably get talked about in every pine cone. So well, not me. You're doing we, okay. We, we, we as an organization, um, you know, this week, uh, as you know, mm -hmm. because we were here last night with Maxine and, um, and my daughter rocket, uh, kind of patrolling. Um, this week has been entirely about a five letter word, which is safety. It That's is right. five letters, right? Six letters. <laughs> you were hoping that was a wordle. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I failed on that one. That's okay. And, um, you know, profound thanks mm -hmm. to public works, community activities. Um, Ashley and, um, and Leslie were out. Uh, we had uh, Margie Brody back helping. With, yeah, it was great to see Margie. Yeah, uh, yesterday with uh, Prancing Ponies. Uh, our police department and our officers have been phenomenal, mm -hmm. beyond phenomenal, mm -hmm. uh, polite with the literally thousands of visitors. We had uh, officers from Marina, the sheriff's office, Monterey, I know I'll forget, Salinas yesterday. Thanks to the officers that came to help us with the STOP program. I think we issued five citations and gave 12 warning, uh, mm -hmm. seven warnings for a total mm -hmm. of 12 car stops. Um, and, and then, you know, the, the, the phenom this week is not the cars, it's our VIPs. Oh my gosh. Uh, Lee Whitney, uh, the D's, um, you know, they call Lee queen one. Oh yeah, they did. Well, they're all Queens. They, they're all Queens, but she's number one. Cause she's yeah, the original under 17 years. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Lee. Thank yeah. you VIPs for the phenomenal yeah. work that you did, uh, in helping keep, keeping people safe. Yeah. Especially people. out here on Monte Verde when yeah. we had sort of like de facto event show up in front of city hall. So they, they were keeping people safe out on the street, which is like you said, that's what it's all about it's, this week. It's been about safety. Mm -hmm. So we have some other news to talk about relevant things, but, uh, want to thank everyone profoundly for the thanks. And we're going to, uh, the mayor agrees, the council agrees. We're going to celebrate the VIPs at our October meeting. So we'll, 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 all, we'll also do a, a debrief an after action report on car week at our October meeting. So hopefully everyone else is staying stay, uh, safe safely stay safety and um and call us if you have any problems or questions obviously at any point in time um in other news um we d we have signed contracts to remove 70 dead or dying trees that's great so uh works i think we removed five this week i mean it's hard with the number of visitors we have mm -hmm. this week and again yeah, that wouldn't public be safe works, and it wouldn't be safe uh, uh public works has been focused on Safety. safety, safety, yeah, and uh, 50, 50 stumps. So that's going on. Those will all be out by the end of October, uh, you know, you know, month and a half from mm -hmm. now or something. So uh, working on that. We're also working on a capital projects dashboard. Something Bob and I have talked about, and again, my wife is developing in the city of St. Helena, where she's an assistant city manager, um, so that the public can see uh, specifically a, a, a resurfacing project. Uh, click on click on the project. It'll be on our website, mm -hmm. so that people can see if it's in design, construction, out to bid. Oh, cool! Uh, completed, and so it's something we're working on. We're also thinking about adding the council priorities, which is coming up on the thirtieth. Mm -hmm. We've talked about that quite a bit um, to a dashboard as well, some kind of a dashboard. So uh, again, Great. trying to be more transparent, yeah. trying to get. Um, uh, the information that the public apparently wants, um, very, very, uh, reasonably so. Sure. Yeah. Uh, get it's that important information. stuff. So, and the last note I have before we move on to the important topics that you have, hmm. um, we, we have, uh, we've closed the period, the last TOT period. Mm -hmm. This is our transit occupancy tax. This is one of our big three revenue sources. Uh, we closed the fiscal year. We had budgeted seven million. We came in a little bit better than that. Good. Um, that was a revised estimate, but the May and June period was lackluster. So occupancy is down uh, is down from uh, from last year. Mm -hmm. it was, and and it was actually sixty eight percent 
occupancy. And that is corrected for the number of hotel, room, hotel rooms that are Because uh, we had a number of them that were closed for renovations correct, around town. Correct. Yeah. So that is a, a number and occupancy um, a percentage that is lower than pre-COVID. So it's, it's probably back in 2016, hmm. 2015. So it, it's a long time ago. So we're, we're obviously watching that. Uh, very closely. We may not be moving into a recession, but apparently more people are not coming here. And then um, our rack rate was off 3% from the same time last year. So um, it's, we don't know what's happening, but a lot of visitors here and people are welcome here, but we're, we're obviously closely tracking yeah. these numbers because they are such a significant part of our revenue, which allows us to provide services to the residents. So you wouldn't know it this week though. No. That's what I got, buddy. All right. Um, next week, I just want to give everyone a heads up. So next week, if you remember at a recent council meeting, uh, they gave us direction to uh, start working with folks to get some of those outdoor amenities, those extra outdoor amenities at like restaurants and wine tasting places, uh, wine tasting shops that are left over from the COVID days, you know, the extra lights, yep. the signage, um, heaters. speakers, heaters. Uh, so we're going to start working with folks next Monday. We wanted to give through the period here of car week. Uh, to, to get those back into compliance. We're leaving the seating alone, if you remember. Mm -hmm. uh, the seating is staying as it is until December. Yep. We're actually gonna talk about the wine tasting shop seating uh, and how slash if we start to look at amending our regulations to allow wine tasting shops to have outdoor seating. That'll be part of that August 30th conversation Correct. with city council. Uh, but we'll be visiting folks on Monday in a very friendly manner like we always do, uh, given a couple weeks, uh, sort of like a fix it ticket, if you will. Uh, no harm, no foul on that. Um, <clears throat> other things going on this week, we got a couple important meetings next week. One is our traffic safety committee. That's Wednesday at two mm -hmm. o'clock. That's here in the chambers. It's also, you can join us virtually. Uh, this is a great meeting. This is, it's myself, our director of public works, Bob Herrera, and our acting chief of police, Jeff Watkins. Uh, what we do is we take over a period of three months, we, we get feedback and comments from folks about things they want to see around town or questions, you know, should this curb be painted? Uh, do we need to add a stop sign somewhere? Uh, should this be a no parking zone? And we collect those. And traditionally, by, by code, those are all decisions that the three of us could make, you know, behind closed doors on our own, based on our own authority. Um, <clears throat> But we make this a public meeting so that people can come and have these conversations with us as we're making those decisions. So uh, we encourage anyone, if you, there's a traffic thing, a safety thing, that big you know, six, five or six letter word I, you know, that Chip was talking about earlier, you know, let us know. We do, we do take those really seriously. Safety is a big deal for us. Um, so that's next Wednesday. Come and join us. At 2 o'clock. At 2 o'clock. We'd right love here. to see you. And then also that evening, at 5 o'clock, we have our special meeting of the Planning Commission on the wireless ordinance that's been out for a little over three weeks now. Uh, we will be asking the Planning Commission to make a formal recommendation to the City Council regarding adoption of that ordinance. Um, we think it's a really good draft, but we're really proud of it. Uh, and so hopefully everyone will come and, and be involved. We, we tried to respond as, as best we could to all the comments we received in March right. at, the, at the workshop. Um, and that's really all I, oh, you know what I want to talk, I just want to mention really quickly, like the city council, if you recall, did adopt an ordinance amending our timeshare regulations. Right. They've always been prohibited in the city, um, but they adopted an ordinance that added some additional definitions and prohibited advertising. Um, well, because that's part of our zoning code, it has to ultimately be approved by the Coastal Commission. Right. It was set for hearing this month. Picasso sent in a letter opposing that certification. Uh, so the Coastal Commission has postponed that uh, for a little bit. So just want to let everyone know that's still still out there. Uh, we're working with our obviously our city attorney um, to, to yeah. draft a response to Picasso's opposition. But I think Mary did a good job today in the Pinecone laying all that out. So yeah, I would encourage good, everybody to check that out. Yeah, very, very thorough, um, well, well researched and written article. And yeah, that goes to the Coastal Commission in September in mm -hmm. Crescent City. Yeah. Um, and so we'll see what they do at that point in time. Hopefully reschedule it sooner than a year from now. That's the hope. Because it's, it's, a, it's a powerful um, enforcement tool that we have, again, and, and it, it de facto protects the community. Uh, it's also a safety measure mm -hmm. as well. But the time, the prohibition on timeshares, that hasn't changed. Nope. That's always existed, well, not always, it's existed for over 20 years in our code. So that never had changed. It won't be changed by this action. This is just about the additional definitions that, and uh, prohibition on advertisement right. that we put in there. Right. Um, yeah, that's what I got. Just, I want to thank everybody too. I mean, it's been 
for as frantic as it's kind of felt this week, because there's you know a lot of little events going all over, it's been really well controlled. People have generally been respectful, and yeah. all that credit I think goes to the folks you mentioned earlier who are out there being friendly, but you know helping guide people in the right direction. So. Yeah, it's about communication, which is the part of the you know part of the reason we do this, obviously. Absolutely. And uh, you know it's nice to see the foreign visitors back. Uh, just uh, every language imag- imaginable out in the street right now. So yeah, you mentioned good. that it is, it is nice to hear you know so much diversity out on the streets. Yeah, to so see welcome everybody. back to our international visitors. So. Yep. All right, I think that's it. We got uh, one day left to go during the week, and then the weekend, and uh, then car week's over. Uh. Not it's bittersweet. Bittersweet. It's always right. fun, but a lot of work. Take good care. All right. Take good care.